So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another First Descendant video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys my end game build and what end game basically is. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the first descendant, the newest in a whole heap of looter shooters. Open beta comes October 20th. I have had early access thanks to Nexon. Uh, I appreciate it. But either way guys, there's a lot to do in this beta. There's a lot of building to be made to your character i mean there's 10 characters you can select from as well level them up to a level 40 uh once you get to a level 40 guys well even earlier than this you can take part in the end game activities this game or the beta offers now there's not that gonna be way more in the full game but this is what we have so seneca and the end game are these here they're called avoid intercept battles now you'll see a bit of gameplay on these in a second let me tell you they are brutal they are brutal but what i'm doing is guys my build is what we're seeing right here on screen now i have gone with viesa who is actually the first descendant i used and no pun intended um i used her because i like the trailer of her freezing shit and just what looked like a gold shell in the hand but it ain't it's just like a metal snowball <laughs> uh, but i used her at first i leveled her up to about a level 25 26 and i kind of got a bit bored i wanted to try other characters as you do but then i used a booty the a boost of the cancer which next one gave me and i tried out every other character which is some amazing characters here probably the most important one is jaber which i'll do another video on uh, but there's a variety of different play styles here guys a variety of them but i just found myself going back to viesa i really did and uh, my most success i've had in these void intercept battles is with this character now it's probably easier for me because i use it the most i mean if i spent this much time on any other character i'll probably get a better feeling of them but for me i'm just doing great now with viesa so yes okay so weapons i am using i am using uh well an assault rifle the uh Caligo's horn which is just amazing hand cannons we're going with well hand cannon is just probably my favorite weapon in the game uh, the assassin's blade this thing hits like a truck now there's hand cannons and hand guns they are vastly different hand cannons are way better in my opinion and they just do more damage they're literally like a sniper guys and then as you know we're using a shotgun now in regards to the sensor the gyro the memories and the coil um i'm not sure about the full game but in the beta it's basically just one or the other um you can get obviously tier twos uh you can get tier three as well but i haven't had any tier three of uh these i have had tier threes of runes but none of the any of these uh equipments or any weapons uh tier one is rare tier two is a obviously epic purple and tier three will be that legendary variant again i've had no legendaries in regards to weapons but i'm pretty sure they're holding them back for the full game but yeah, in regards to these guys, they're basically just higher versions of the same thing you can get in this, in the beta. I'm not sure if you can get other things which do other things here. I don't think you can. But one does HP. Well, actually, two do health P. Health points. We've got the gyro and the coil. We have a sensor, which is your shield. And we have the memory, which is your defense now. Level 40 on all because i got a boosted account, like I said. So everything's level 40. Uh, runes okay so runes are uh, you probably know but i've posted a ton of videos about runes and how they work but as you can see here they all do individual things for said weapons i'm using which are uh, represented by this rune my auto rifle is more on my assault rifle is as you can see my you see where it, the line goes to so this is effect this uh storm affects my assault the wave affects my hang cannon and the haze affects my shotgun and we also have descendant runes which i'll go to in a second but on my stone runes which affect my assault rifle i am using this on enemy kill fire rate is uh, a plus 1.5 percent for 10 seconds this effect can stack three times pretty cool we have uh, an enemy kill attack is a plus 40 for 10 seconds this is a uh, this effect sorry stacks three times it's probably my favorite perk or model rune or whatever you want to call them 
on enemy kill. Defense is a plus 145% for 3 seconds. A very, very important, guys, because you'll see gameplay in a second. Those void intercepts are brutal. We have a uh, quick tempered. When magazine is empty, reload speed is a minus 10% with a 9 second cooldown, which is good. We have a. Uh, I wish, wish, I wish there's more. I know there's going to be more in the full game, but we need more reload dunes, man. The reload <laughs> just seems so slow, considering how enemies attack you in this game. The, 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 the part, there's so many ads as well that attack you. It's brutal. At the same time as well, you just get rushed. We have um, aim expert on enemy kill. Crosshair size is a plus three uh, for three seconds which can overlap up to two times. This is good if you don't aim down sights, which I like. And we have uh, this one here. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it really, really is. The aiming down sight while you're running. Uh, this thing is great. It's wicked for weapons like the assault rifle, which if your target is like a distance away from you. I mean, if you're close range, you can just spray them from the hip, which is why I like this. But if you're at a distance, which with some raid bosses, you will be at a distance because you ain't getting in front of them. Um, this is great. You can dodge attacks while aiming down sight. So it's pretty cool. And I got a spare slot, but I haven't got enough room capacity to put something in there. Because obviously the room capacity, the numbers, is that you ever take it up, you know what I've done. Cover that numerous times. Okay, so I'm a hand cannon. I mean, they're quite basic on my hand cannon. I'm not going to lie. You haven't got much which really affects the hand cannon itself, but more weapons which you switch to, like this one here, Chamber Lord. On weapon change, rounds are not consumed for five seconds. Now, I think this is when you swap to it, but I'm not certain. It could be for, for when you swap away from it. I need to try that out. But either way, my hand cannon is probably in my hand the most. So, yes. We have uh, on weak point hit, target knockdown chance is 5.5%. And I see this a lot, you know. Even against the raid uh, bosses, you see this a lot. I mean, they're only staggered for about a good five seconds, if that, but it's still a lot. Uh, we have this one on here, on weak point hit, critical hit chance is a plus 46%. Critical hit damage is a plus 37%. Cooldown of 21 seconds, great as well if you've got good aiming like me. Not really. And this one here, again, on weapon change, recoil is a uh, minus 80% for two seconds. And then we have, for my shotgun, we have a fire and expert on enemy kill. Shot capacity is a plus 15% for three seconds. That's really good. Can overlap two times as well. We have a defense expert on enemy kill. Defense is a plus 100% for three seconds. Effect can overlap three times. We have descendant roll. Unroll auto reloads weapon in use by a 12.6% chance. Pretty good. And then we have the chamber load on weapon change. Uh, rounds not consumed for five seconds. I mean, it's not great for shotgun because when you switch to it, I mean, it's quite slow. So you're probably only going to get an extra two or three shots from this, but it's a lot in regards to a shotgun in this game because they can pack a punch. They really can. And that's basically my weapons and what I use. Now, you, obviously, play styles, you'll be using different weapons. But for me, this is what I got best on with. Now, as in regards to my descendant runes here, I had to go with their elemental immunity. I just thought this was so important. I mean, it's so, so important. Uh, we've got burn, poison, ice, and electrocution. And then we have here, uh, veteran tactics and enemy kill, 11.2% chance to reset skill with the longest cooldown. Now you don't understand how it actually works as well. This actually comes into effect way more often than I thought it would do, but it's just great because I know, although this is what I've been using on raid bosses, a lot of these raid bosses I have been fighting against, they do spawn in quite a few ads at the same time. So you can obviously get the kill on the ad, uh, use, your, use your ability on the boss, kill another ad or a couple of ads, hopefully get a cooldown, use your ability on the boss again. So yeah, it's a good actually all round uh, rune this is, not just raid bosses, but I love it. We then have this one right here. Running speed is a plus 5.6%. Uh, Damage immune when using grappling hook. Now grappling hook is underused. But, I mean, that's, I'd probably say about a second you get of immunity if you're trying to escape damage, escape danger. Trust me, it helps an absolute ton. It really does, and that's why it's there. And we also have, guys, Mana Collector on enemy kill. 10% chance to recover. 10% of max mana immediately. Cooldown is 5 seconds. Again, if you spam out those abilities 
on ads, this is great. And we also have this one right here. To be honest, this is just something I'm just throwing in because it reminds me of Wolverine, but you can use any of these. It ain't as effective as you may think. It may be more effective in a full game, but I mean, it's probably about as effective as one hang cannon shot. It really is, guys. It really is. And then, guys, you're going to see on screen me actually just destroying. Uh, for, to be honest, I say destroying. You can only do these, really. They're made for four months. They are made for four months. But we got up to this one right here, Grave Walker. We call him the crab. This dude's a pain in the ass. This dude is a pain in the ass. Now, these are hard. These are really hard. It's not even a joke. The stunning beauty here as well. Hits like a truck. You think it's because at level one, it's, it's not going to be that bad. They're bad. We attempted this in a free man. Me, my pal, and a YouTuber called Truds. Absolutely battered us. Not in the fact that we couldn't kill the boss. It's the fact that there's a time limit as well. <laughs> Again, things can change. But you know. Then we have this one right here. The Pyromaniac. Who was just absolutely bad. Yeah. And these guys, these are normal. These are normal. But these are what this game's raids will be. These are the end game. These are bosses which give you the best loot. And like I said, you're seeing gameplay on the screen now. They are absolutely unreal. Now we also have Void Inset Battle Hard. We have them. These are level 55s. These are level 55s. If max level is a 40, these are going to take some beating. With a death count, max of three as well. If you go down, if you die three times, you're done. You are done. So yeah, guys, absolutely insane. Now you're seeing, like I said, you're seeing gameplay footage on the screen now. And this is me fighting what we're calling the crab. I'm just using my my instincts, to be honest. I mean, I've done a lot of these kind of battles in Destiny with Nightfall, Strike bosses, and although they're much, much bigger than a lot of bosses in what we saw in like Outriders and Anthem and games like that. Basically there, once you get it down, guys, you know exactly what you are doing. Uh, but yeah, guys, I ain't gonna bore you with any more talking, um, or I ain't gonna leave the video running for gameplay. I've actually got uh, more gameplay of these raid battles on my channel. If you do want to check them out, you'll find them right there. But there we have it, guys. This game's, uh, well, what we're gonna call end game raids, avoid inset battles, and my build, what I've used within these actual, these, these, these activities. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.